There's a new trend in biohacking, which is inserting LEDs underneath the skin to make a pretty cool, somewhat Iron Man effect uh, wherever, though. Um, it's, uh, it can be a little graphic if you Google pictures for this. We do have some photos of how it would look, though I think they're going to be okay. If you're majorly sensitive, you may not like this. So that is the North Star V1. That is the chip itself, um, along with the lights embedded into it. It is the size of a two euro coin. I do not know how big that is, but that's just what it says. It's it's pretty thick. And it's uh, smaller than its pre predecessor, the Circadia 1.0. This is from Grindhouse Wetware. Yeah, there it is under the skin, sh just showing a happy face. And I think it can be programmed to do various things um, and interact with your uh, smartphone. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there are some more gruesome images of them being inserted underneath the skin. Yes, um, I looked at all the pictures. So, yeah, what's happened with this, because this does count as, you know, maybe you can call it citizen science, maybe you can mm -hmm. call it biohacking, is that the medical community at large is not on board with this. Right, right. Uh, so it is people that are generally uh, tattoo artists or uh, specialize in piercing doing this. Um, it has described the procedure in detail, it was very gross to me because I am a little squeamish, which was basically making sure you can be as clean as possible. Yeah. Um, and just straight up cutting into the skin, removing a flap, putting it under, and then hand sewing stitches, which does seem a little bit dangerous. I, this could go wrong very easily if at one point you don't know what you're doing or you slip up with a sterilization. Yeah, that's that's the thing that would concern me is a sterilization. I mean, everybody, body modification's been around forever. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, and obviously before modern times, it was done without anesthetic, like mm -hmm. any any cleanliness yeah, no at all. Anesthetic but anesthetic either. No, oh, yeah. Um, and look, I've got tattoos. I'm I'm not opposed to body modification. This, however, seems a little icky. Also, it's thick. Like that's it doesn't. It's not it's, like a super flat yeah, thing that's it's, under. Yeah, it's pretty your... thick. It, you did see in the pictures. It makes a uh, noticeable uh, skin. Yeah, it's like it's raised and like. I don't know. I, I mean, it's it's a cool idea, I guess, if you must have lights under your skin. It feels a little capital from Hunger Games to me, but, you know, if you like it, cool. Um, but one interesting thing that I was reading is that they are looking at having it, say, track your heartbeat. Um, they were even joking about eventually putting, like, a, a Wii controller in your hand. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, it'd be no, great because, no, no, like, no, then no. I'd, I would never lose my remote control, but... Upgrading would be difficult. Yeah, because <laughs> technology moves faster than maybe you exactly. would want your skin... Well, I maybe open. don't want that at but, all. You know. um, it's supposed to, okay, so the the North Star device, it lights up about 10,000 times before yeah. the battery needs to be re uh, replaced. Um, and then the, it can move into a low power mode. Uh, after lighting up for 10 seconds, the, Im the implants automatically go into a, a sleep mode. Um, it's supposed to imitate bioluminescence that we might see from fireflies, from jellyfish, from you know animals in nature. Yeah. And it, it is interesting on that front. It is, it is. I mean, they have tattoos where you can get, um, like, their black light tattoos where they do mm -hmm. glow in black light, although those are not really supposed to be very good for you. Um, I don't know. I don't need to light up in the dark. I mean, I, I have a phone well, with a flashlight out. Well, for sure, app. this is not for everyone. No. I mean, before I said, we did, we've done biohacking before, and I said I wouldn't do this. This isn't for me. Yeah. Uh, people were very angry about that, but that is, again, a personal choice. Yeah, if you want to put lights under your skin, that's cool. You want to look like Tony Stark? I'm all for you looking like Tony Stark. I think it's cool to look at. I don't know if I would want um, a non-medical professional cutting my chest. No, open. no, I would so not. maybe not. I would not. But it's, it's, there's a lot of wild stuff in there. I'm, I'm good um, with the tattoos. That, that aspect is a little bit scary. <laughs> yeah. Because it is, it does seem more akin to, let's say, surgery from the neck mm -hmm. than it is mm -hmm. to, uh, you know, something like piercing or tattooing, which right. I would be a more, much more okay with. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm just, you know, I, it's fine. It's, it's fine. So you can light up. Mm -hmm. I will go to a club with you if you light up. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't. I don't want to light up. Well, I mean, uh, it does seem to be spreading the trend. It's happening in Sweden and Pittsburgh. Um, Sweden and Pittsburgh, you know, because uh, well, same. Those are just two incidents <laughs> that were recently mentioned over the weekend, uh, where people had decided to do this simultaneously, uh, including the founder of the company that makes this. So yeah. He talks. He's probably the best ambassador for this um, in general. Uh, it's, it's not for everyone. Like I said, yeah. it's definitely not for me. But if this is what you want to do and you're completely safe, or not, if you're completely okay with the safety mm -hmm. uh, risks that may be involved, 
then sure, you can do that. But it does seem extremely risky, and uh, I, I, I couldn't. No. It's a, it's a little bit much for me. Yeah. I, I would need some anesthetic. I will oh, maybe. I, I, I just want another tattoo. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Audience, would you get one of these implanted under your skin? And uh, let me know why. Open up my mind. Tell me why it's a good idea. Uh, please put that below in the comments, and please like and subscribe for more.